This video is going to show you how to update the firmware on your looper module. There are three situations you could be in and uh, they'll dictate which section of this video you're going to want to follow. Situation one, you have a looper running the version two firmware and you want to update it to the very latest build. Option number two, you have a looper that's running the version one firmware and you want to upgrade that to the version two. Option number three, you've purchased the limited edition version two expansion pack and you just want to check you're doing things correctly. And I guess the fourth option is you don't currently have a looper module, uh, in which case you can go get one, then you can follow this video. This is how to recognize if your looper is running version one or version two. First thing to do is to make sure the time pot is set to clock divisions. So there should be no yellow LED lit on the deck that you're checking out. Uh, adjusting the time pot will redefine clock divisions for the loop. On version one, the lowest clock division value is one. So there will always be an LED lit at the top of the reel. On version two, the lowest clock division value is zero. So turning it all the way down will result in no LEDs on the ring. So version one, LED lit, version two, no LEDs. Next up, this is how to check if your V2 looper is running the very latest published firmware version. Uh, you're going to want to look at the USB drive that you connect to your looper. On the USB drive, there will be a firmware folder. Uh, inside this, the version number is going to be displayed as a .tar file. You can then compare this number to the latest available update that's available on the Instro website. This next section is going to show how to update a looper that's already running a version 2 firmware. First step is to download the latest version update file. This will download as a .tar file. Place this new file into the firmware folder on the USB drive. Delete any old versions so that the new firmware is the only one in the directory. All you need to do then is connect the USB drive to your looper, power cycle it, and it will automatically update to the new firmware. If you happen to be using a brand new USB drive, the V2 firmware will actually automatically generate the folder structure and default preset files. So just connect the drive, start up the looper once if the firmware folder doesn't already exist. This section is going to show how to upgrade a looper running the version 1 firmware to the version 2 firmware. This upgrade is a slightly more involved procedure, so I'd recommend watching this video a couple of times just so that you know exactly what, what the process is. Some form of micro SD card reader is going to be needed for this first stage, but for any subsequent updates to the version 2 firmware, you can follow the previous section of this video where everything's going to be done via the USB drive. The first step is to download the Looper version 2 SD card image file from the Instro website. This will be the only file that needs flash to the micro SD card. Power down and remove the Looper from your system. The disk image file actually needs flash to the SD card which is not quite as simple as just transferring a file. You're going to want to access the micro SD card, which is in here at the uh, bottom corner of the inside PCB. The flashing procedure itself, it's analogous to burning a CD-ROM for anyone that remembers what a CD-ROM is. I'm going to recommend using a free program called Balena Etcher. It's a cross-platform program, uh, so Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, and very easy to use. So download and install the Etcher program, then connect the SD card to your computer, locate the V2 disk image file from the flash from file option, or you can simply drag the zip file to the first stage of the program. You don't need to unzip the downloaded file before this step. Choose the SD card as a target and then press flash. The whole process should only take a minute or two. Uh, I think it'll depend on the speed of the SD card reader you're using. The verification stage can actually be skipped, but it's probably worth just running it for peace of mind. It will just clarify that the images correctly flash to the, to the SD card. This process has installed the version 2 core firmware. Uh, if there are any further version 2 updates to install, these are all going to be done via the USB drive. Uh, and the process is shown in the previous section of this video. If you have a version 1 looper and you just purchased the expansion pack, this is how to install it. Inside the pack, you will find a pre-flashed micro SD card and a new 8GB USB drive. Power off your system, disconnect your looper, and you want to replace the micro SD card with the new one. It can be found in the, the bottom corner at the back. Put the new SD card in, 
and it's good to go. For any further version 2 firmware updates, uh, these can all be done via the USB drive and front access USB port. Simply put the update file into the firmware folder, connect it, power on, and it will install the update on the first power cycle. Happy looping!